just tell us a little bit what was it like to be out there in your first match you know here in the spring unique settings here out there uh well first of all um it was a tough game to be honest um it's it's not easy after a lot of time to go back again in the field and and, and try to get the rhythm going but um i mean we can we can get caught in excuses right now but it's not going to work we have to face what it's real uh, we lost 1-0 today and and we just got to keep working uh, we just got to keep uh, learning all the things that, that happened today in the game. And, I mean, we just we just can't – we cannot go lower than this. You can just go up, and 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 it starts tomorrow in training, and it starts right now and how we rest today. And 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 I just think, as I said, we, we can just go higher than this. And and it's a challenge for the team, for the boys, and, and, and we're looking forward to it. You never seem to get into a rhythm offensively. Talk a little bit about the pressure that Tulsa put on you. Um, well, absolutely. Uh, even though it was uh, the first game after a long while, uh, they had an idea of our plan. They had an idea of how we attack. Um, and I, I just think we, we need to, to keep uh, our rhythm going. I mean, I think at the beginning of the game, uh, we, didn't, we didn't show them what we're, what we're about, and, and it was difficult. And I think um, the way we train is, is going to be the key for this. And as we can get um, more synchronized in training and our attack movements, uh, that's going to be a reflection in the game. And, and I think it starts by that. What do you, th you want to take the players, the rest of your guys, to take from this match moving forward now as you go on the road? Uh, I mean, we have a lot to learn today. And, um, and we already know it's not going to be easy next week in Temple. Um, but we, we, can, we can just learn. I mean, we can have a mentality right now of, learning, keep growing, and, and, and not get caught in excuses. I mean, that's not real. What's real is that we lost today, and now we got to get going for next week and, and get the three points in tempo. Luis went down. How much was that a disruption to what you were hoping to get going offensively? Oh, well, uh, everybody knows that Luis is one of our best players in the team, and, and, and he brings a lot of control, a lot of possession, and, and in the attack, he's, he's one of the key players. But, I mean, uh, we're a team, and we have a lot of guys in the bench too that are ready to come in and step up. And and absolutely, is a is a player that, that obviously hurts when when's not in the field. But we have a good team, and we just we just need to be ready. Whoever comes in, into the field to give 100. percent All right, appreciate it. Have a good uh, week of practice. Good luck next weekend. All right, thank you both. Have a good night. Good evening, guys. Stay there. Well, uh, Yannick, just uh, tell us a little bit what uh, kind of transpired there on that goal and what you, from what you saw overall in the match. Um, well, we, uh, we didn't have control over the game in the first 15 to 20 minutes, um, which um, I respected to, uh, to Tulsa. They came out to play, and they came out with a plan on uh, how to compete against us, and we were just not there to match it. And um, the goal is just the result of these first 15 or 20 minutes that we were not ready to compete. After that, though, how did you feel in your position, and how do you think that the team responded defensively the rest of the way? Um, I think, I mean, the game overall defensively was a little choppy. We definitely have to uh, have areas that we can improve on. Um, but at the same time, I think, uh, especially the guys that came from the bench, really elevated our, our game uh, from, from this setback. And, um, and we, we tried to create chances, but Tulsa was uh, ready to defend um, how we create our chances. And um, I think we just have to get a little more effective with, uh, in our final third, we have, to, we have to be more effective in our building play. Um, and we have to, yeah, we just have to be ready. What, uh, where do you go from here? What are some of the things you, you think the team has to work on as one of the leaders? Um, we have to, first of all, we have to work on how we go into it. Um, I think today was not a display of how a champion goes into a game. Um, that's what we are aspired to be. And uh, if we want to get another championship, we have to start games differently. And uh, we have to show teams what we're about. And we didn't do that today, and uh, hence the result. The unique nature of this season, one game a week, and now you drop one at home. You feel a little heightened pressure now as you go on the road? 
No, um, I'm confident. Uh, our team, our team has a lot of quality to offer, and um, this is a setback for sure. Um, we we were uh, a little, I don't know, fortunate. I would say last season with uh, how many games we won in the regular conference. I just th think that this is going to be a wake up call for us, and uh, we have to compete better the next games. And uh, I think um, that everyone will struggle somehow with uh, with this season. Um, we just need to need to be consistent with our with our um, with our quality, with our performances out here, and then uh, I think we will be fine. All right, appreciate it. Have a good week of practice. Good luck next uh, next game. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye. Hey, coach. Hey, how are you guys? What's going good, on, good, coach. Uh, coach, obviously tough match there. What did you see there, especially in that first 15, 20 minutes where it looked like Tulsa had the better end of the play? Yeah, I think that's pretty clear that Tulsa came ready. Um, Tulsa was, uh, was ready to compete, was ready to work, uh, made it really clear right in the beginning of the game that, that they were here for the result. Um, and you know, if we're going to be completely honest about our performance in that first 15, 20 minutes, I mean, they had a chance in their first attack where they probably should have scored. Um, so right away, not even two minutes in, we're not ready. Um, you know, and then of course they, they, they get the goal and that, that goal is a second ball where we just run out to the ball. We leave, I mean, there's probably three guys who could have headed that ball in. Um, so we weren't, we weren't ready for, the start of this game. And, you know, when you're not ready to compete, um, you, you open up a door and, uh, and sometimes, you know, and, and this case is, is one of those times you go one nil down. And then when you finally do figure out, okay, this is what, this is what competing is. Um, and, and you start to match that density. Uh, and then of course, once, once you do, you earn your right to play in the game, right? Because now, now you get to dictate the terms of the game. Uh, but, you know, it was too late for us. We were already 1-0 down, and we, we couldn't get the goal back. You could, it seemed like Tulsa's pressure. You just couldn't get anything going offensively. You couldn't get into a rhythm. Uh, just talk a little bit about what they showed you uh, defensively. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Tulsa, especially early on, they were so willing to run the timing of, you know, how they uh, closed us down, the, the, the options that they were, they were taking away from us. Um, we did not respond well to that. And um, I'm, that's, that's something that I think as the game went on, we started to, to then, especially in the second half, we started to get the hold of the, hold of the game. And we started to create a, a structure uh, at the back and in the midfield where now those distances, they, they couldn't cover them. Um, but it took, it took a while for us to get to that point. Um, you know, cre again, credit to Tulsa in, in this case. They were, uh, you know, they, they, they were up for the game. They performed incredibly well. I think when we finally did really get a hold of the game, um, they were prepared to, to deal with uh, us when, when we got into the final third as well. Uh, nine corners, uh, nothing to show for it, those, but you had opportunities. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think we had, I, I think we had, um, and that, that, that comes from, that, that's a consequence of us playing in the opponent's half in the second half, right? That's a consequence of us being able to build up um, and, you know, uh, we didn't get anything from it. Corners are, you know, they're not actually really high percentage chance. Um, and, you know, we, we, we obviously, I, I think, unfortunately, though, some of the delivery on those corners never even really gave us a chance to, to try to make something from that. Um, so we have to do better on every set piece delivery. We, we certainly have to make it more dangerous. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, um, you know, it requires a big response from the guy.
Yes. Uh, because, you know, when, when you get outplayed um, in, in terms of a team that's just technically better um, at a better level, but I, I, I don't think, I don't think that's what happened. I think we got outworked and we, I think we got out competed, especially in the first 20, 30 minutes. And that, that can't happen. That can't happen. Uh, Luis goes down first. Uh, how is he to your knowledge and uh, the impact then on not having him on the field? Yeah, so the preliminary uh, reports is that he's fine. Um, just a knock. No, um, you know, the, the doctors have looked at him and they said he's, he's good. Uh, they did everything to make sure of that. So uh, we're not worried about that. Uh, I actually think the guys that came in um, – when Louis went off, did an incredible job. So Andrew Lazinas, Beto, um, those guys came on. And actually, that, I think we grew in the game during that period. I, I don't think that's a direct result of Louis leaving. I think actually Louis was really good in, in the start of the game and was a really bright spot in that first 20 minutes. Um, but, yeah, I thought, I thought the, the players that came in and um, – Played when Louis went out, um, when Lenny went out, uh, when Hata went out. Uh, I, I, I thought those guys really came in, and I, I thought that's when we really got a hold of the game. Players just said this is a big wake-up call, uh, especially with the way the team started. I, I guess that's something you want to hear them say, right? Uh, a wake-up call with a increased focus this week in practice leading up to a road game. Yeah, I think you, you – um, the, the, the performance was pretty clearly lacking in, in certain areas, and that's a consequence of habits. Uh, and those habits are created in training. And so I think the, 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 the number one way that you can make sure that you do not start slow um, and that you do not play games where you, you don't work hard, you don't compete at the right level, is that you – you do this in training at the right level every single day and you bring the right energy to training. And then, then it's a habit. And actually, if you train this way and in our environment, if you train really on your edge, the consequence of that is then when you get to the game, the game doesn't seem so fast or so difficult. Um, it actually, you know, some of the top teams in the world, their training environments are so good that they'll talk about how Monday through Thursday, Friday is, is so hard. Then when they get to Saturday, it's, it's not, it's not as difficult and it's not as fast. Um, I think we have to get to that point. If, if we really want to be a top program, it starts with how you train the mentality and the culture around that and the energy you give to it. And then I'll wrap up with this, the unique nature of this season, one match a week, and now you drop the one at home. A little more yeah. pressure now uh, going on the road for this one. You know, I think um, – I, I don't ever I, – I think, you know, there's the, the reality is, yes, there's more uh, – less room for error as you start to move forward. But in, in my mind, I just look at it as, okay, we have, we've just played a match that's revealed something – about our team and that we now have a week to address it. And um, the next time we go out and we play, that that cannot happen. Um, and, that, and that we have to make progress. Uh, and we need to make progress. So, so there's obviously that, that, but then there'll be things that we analyze within the game in terms of um, decisions we made, um, how, how we, um, how we built up, how we unbalanced teams, what we did in the final third. We'll have to work on all those things too. Um, but we'll have to do it within, a, within an environment where people are working hard and competing.